In response to another viewer question, I'm going to show you how to set up split screen when you're using vertical video. The first thing you'll want to do is add all three of your video clips. In this tutorial, you're going to be using different video clips of different lengths. Add all three clips and then tap on add. They will be added to the project in the order that they were selected. All clips are on the main track. In order to do split screen, just like before, you have to use overlays. I have three different videos. Each video is a different length. Once all your videos have been added to the project, the first thing you'll want to do is scroll to the end to review each video. As you do, you'll notice that every CapCut project contains this end screen. To remove it, just select it and delete it. And then scrub back to the beginning of your videos. The second and third clips will be your overlays. Select the second clip first, and then you'll scroll over and look for an option that says Overlay. This will move the second video clip onto the overlay track, meaning that it will appear underneath the first clip, which is still on the main track. There's your first overlay. Long press on your overlay clip and drag it back to the beginning of the video, since you want all three videos to remain on screen for the same length of time. Then you can move to the third clip in the sequence, this one here, select it. And when it's selected, swipe over and choose that overlay option once more. Once again, you'll want to long press and move it back to the beginning of the video so that all three clips appear on screen for the same length of time. Once your main clip and your two overlay clips are in position, you can select each clip and use the split option to cut all the clips so that each clip is the same length. This will ensure that all three clips remain on screen for the length of the entire video. Next, go back to the main timeline by using the left facing arrow and format the video into a vertical format, 9 by 16. From the main timeline, swipe over and select on Format, choose 9 by 16, and then go back to the main timeline once more. Now you can move each of the video clips you've added, your main clip, and the two overlay clips into position. The first clip should be at the top. The second clip will be in the middle position and the third clip on the bottom. The order of the clips is up to you. Just make sure that all the clips take up the entire vertical 9 by 16 preview area like this. To move the clips, select each overlay individually and move it into position. For example, you're going to want to select the second overlay clip and move it down into the bottom position so that it fills in the rest of the space. When all of your clips are in position, scroll to the end of your video and make sure that all three clips end at the same time. If they don't, whichever clip ends first will disappear off the screen. Like this. You can see that my main clip ends here so I've got to adjust the two overlay clips so they end at the same time. Follow my example to see what I do. Just long press on the end of the overlay clips and bring them back to the end of the main clip. 
As you adjust the end of your clips, keep in mind that the white selection bars will not be there when you play the video normally. All three clips start and end at the same time. Next, tap on the export icon to export your video. Don't interrupt this process or the export won't work properly. You can find your exported video inside your camera roll and it will be the last thing that you recorded. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.